<laughs> this intro is dumb. So I'm gonna try something. Try something that I actually wanted to do for a while. And that is a channel iceberg. Yes, my channel has quite a bit of lore actually If I, when I really looked at it. So I made this iceberg here, which hopefully should be right here. And um, it's pretty big, way bigger than I actually remember it being. Um, but we're gonna go through it. We're only gonna go through the first half because there's a lot. And so I'm hoping I'm just making these two parts. If it's not, if it's more, it's more, but we're gonna try this. So, uh, let's just get started. So the first tier is like, I guess the sky level or whatever. And it's basically just stuff that if you just looked on my channel for just a little bit, not even have to like watch any videos probably, you would see what basically my channel is about. Geometry Dash completions is because one of my most frequent like videos is just me beating Geometry Dash levels because I like to record it and then upload it to my channel not for like other people to see it's more like f just for me because I think it's cool to like go back and look at it I've been trying to like slow down on the Geometry Dash because it takes a lot <laughs> so I've been slowing down but anyway that's something that's very frequent on my channel Lego time lapse videos. This is something that is also very frequent. Um, whenever I get a set for my birthday or something, I'll re record myself building it. However, I've kind of slowed that down too because it's kind of like a hassle to like get out my camera and stuff and then ha have to like time lapse it. And so I don't really like doing that anymore. So actually, my birthday was fairly recently from recording this, and I didn't record any of the sets that I built. Just didn't really want to anymore. So yeah, that's just another thing that you'll probably see a lot on my channel. Challenge videos. This is definitely also something common, it's something that I do with the Obligator, who is a friend of mine in real life, and so we'll make videos together. We have all types of challenges, which I'm sure there are several that I'll actually get to later in the iceberg. People's Republic of Somali Network. I probably should have started that one. <laughs> started with that one, but um, that's just obviously the name of the channel. It's called the PRS Network. It stands for the People's Republic of Somalia. So originally, I had a whole bunch of series on my channel. And so it was supposed to be like these were different shows on a different channel network. And this was for a fictional country called the People's Republic of Somalia. Because seventh grade me thought Somalia was really funny. And so we'll make it communist Somalia and have these like trash shows on there or something like that. And I just never changed it. 2012 videos. So these are videos from a long time ago. I have a place on my channel that consists of these and they're old. Like from 2012, it's like 10 years. And they're from... Like, I was probably in like third grade, and I just had a tablet, and I just wanted to make videos. And so I, I published those, and actually someone found them at school, and so I privated them for a long time. But now I'm like, you know what, I'm not afraid of my past, and so I unprivated them. So, um, I don't really like that people can see them, but at the same time, like, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm going to get to a lot of, like, the more common series that I had, that I used to do and just do like a brief summary of them. So Angry Boy is a series where the main character was this boy named Stefan, and he had some anger issues. <laughs> I hate freaking reading for homework. Damn it, freaking hate my school. Spongebob Sophia. So it actually is a parody of the channel called Waffle Pwn, or Waffle Pwn, uh, which they're famous for the video Greatest Freak Out Ever. <laughs> and they have a whole series about that. And so a lot of the videos that we made actually have references to several of those Greatest Freak Out videos. Cause we, my brother and I loved that series when we were younger. And so Stefan is supposed to be like Steven and Jacques is supposed to be like Jack, the cameraman. So that's where that came from. Book review is a series of, I believe, 10 episodes starring Toon Link and Jaber, where we just review books. That's it. <laughs> American Reviews is a channel that I did with Joseph, where basically what it was, was um, we would either talk about an American YouTuber, or I would dress up, or my friend would dress up as someone who could be thought of as American, like a CSGO player. Today on American Reviews, our guest is a professional CSGO player. What's your name? A NBA fanatic. Oh, we're doing a NBA fan attic. Um, I'm gonna say one thing. NBA fanatics like watching basketball, but they're super bad at playing. Uh, it was a very boring series. It was very like boring to watch them because they're like uncut. Sometimes we they would like we'd ask Google um up to give a Wikipedia summary of the YouTuber. Okay, Google. Who is Jack's films? That starred me playing as this guy called Reggie Jesus. Kind of like the Pokemon Reggie Gigas, but Reggie Jesus. I don't know why. And then he was Bryant, 
um, who's actually Canadian, not American. That was kind of like a joke in the show. And the Obligator is just like another channel that I do a lot of videos with. It's my best friend in real life, so he's all over my channel. The How Do Show is a series with the most episodes, and um, it's just me playing as this character called Multi Accent Boy, where I would um, do different kinds of really bad impressions of different accents. What you gotta do, all you gotta do is just gotta open up. Dirty hands on my English camera. And not speak freaking. Mute. Uh, uh, nice. uh, uh, uh. And review stuff, or show well, show someone how to do something. Um, usually they are extremely useless, like how to catch and kill an emoji. <laughs> or how to make obligator aid, or something like that. This is uh, another YouTuber called the Obligator, and he's here to tell us about his world class beverage. The interview was a series that I did with Joseph, and it's one of the oldest ones that I have. I believe it's 25 episodes, and it's just Joseph asking me questions for about three minutes or so, and they're just really dumb. <laughs> so, Alabama. That's not a question. Alabama. What do you feel about Alabama? The first question is going to be how many books can you blow in a minute? How many books can I blow in a minute? Tom and Ben News was a dumb series I did in like 2016 where I played a character called The Insane Man. Basically, every single news episode was just documenting this guy, this weirdo who had some mental issues, I guess. And then I had to end the series because I hated doing it by sending um, The Insane Man to the sun in order to just like cut off the series. Hi all. James here. I'm um, editing Josh here. So yeah, um, I think there's one part that I kind of left out and I guess it just wasn't an iceberg. I made it back in January. So I guess it was technically before I started it, but I feel like this deserves a spot is Histories and Mysteries. Um, that is a series that I did where I would either talk about a historical event or a mystery or something like that. Uh, I don't really know where that series is gonna go because I actually really do not like doing the research process. I really don't like doing it at all. So I haven't made an episode in a while and I don't know if it's gonna continue or not, but that is also something that you would see on my channel. And the trailer for my channel is the trailer for Histories and Mysteries, so yeah. Okay, so now we're getting to the second tier which is pretty much more mainstream stuff, but like you have to like probably actually watch the videos and they're not actually just main series is really. So reading my comments was a series that I did back in 2018 mostly, where I would look at comments from um, my videos and read them off. However, I wouldn't actually like, I didn't have a screen, I just had my laptop, so I just read them instead of having it kind of overlaid or something like that. Um, so I had five episodes of that and then just didn't really want to do it anymore. <laughs> SFV vlog series. There's a typo on my iceberg. It says Volg. Well, anyway. So in 2019, I went to Sweden, Finland, and Estonia. So that's what SFE stands for. There are these trash vlogs where I would like basically just record myself every day. However, I wanted to save storage. So I'd always be like, eh, I probably shouldn't record that. I need to save storage for later. And then um, it was the end of the trip before I knew it. So I didn't really get as much footage as I probably should have. It's, it's really bad. It's not really easy to watch. But I made a compilation as of like one video where I just put all of the vlogs into one video. Spoonful Challenge is, I think, in my opinion, one of the most infamous challenge videos, challenge series is. On my channel, there are five episodes where it's just the obligator and I eating a spoonful of something stupid, something gross, like a raw egg. Set. Go. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or egg whites. Bone apple tea. I <laughs> Mint extract. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! It like hurts. Oh! Ah. Oh! Stuff like that. And sometimes we'd have these disgusting concoctions that my brother would make, just mix a bunch of stuff, and we had to try and and eat a spoonful of it. It was nasty. Helicopter Die used to be, actually, until recently, my most viewed video. And it was one of the 2012 videos where it's just me throwing a helicopter around a room and my brother making fart noises. It's absolutely amazing. Masterclass cinema. Batman Destroys the World 2 is my first video that I ever made. Uh, the first one, Batman Destroys the World, comes after it. I don't know why it was out of order, but that's just how it was uploaded, I guess. So characters, I guess there's just like several different characters that I played throughout several di different series. I grew, I think I gained a lot of inspiration from like Brandon Rogers and how he made a whole bunch of different characters and how they would have their own specific characteristics and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool. Loshel Ted is a stuffed bear who was in a lot of videos, mostly in the T Tom and Ben News series. 
Bad Game Reviewer was a series that is technically incomplete, uh, where I would play more or less just myself reviewing video games. Now, they weren't bad video games, I was just a bad reviewer, so that's why it's called that. Second Second Challenge is one of my favorite videos, and it is of the obligator and I trying to do something in seven seconds. It, it was a video I was very proud of, actually, because of how, like, funny it was. You need five Marvel movies. Iron Man, Spider Man, Batman. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of how well edited to me back then it was. However, I don't think it lives up now. It's not as good as I remember it being. I'm back. Um, <laughs> so I, I accidentally left one out. Camera Boy is my brother who would re just record all of the How To Show episodes, and that's what that here is about, and I forgot to say it. All right, so now we're getting below the surface um, into stuff that you kind of have to look for and have to like find different things that kind of stick out. So April Fool's videos, there are, I believe, two that I can think of off the top of my head that I've made. One of them is called something like Tom and Ben News Season 2 or something like that, where it's just me explaining about how I have this grand idea to bring Tom and Ben News back, which was, uh, like I said before, a series that I hated doing. And then at the end, I was like, nah, it's just April Fool's, sorry. And then the other one is British Reviews, which is supposed to be obviously a parody of American Reviews, where I had this very bad British accent. Joseph and I would talk about three British YouTubers. I believe it was Daggerwin, Morgs, and I think Pyrocynical, if I can remember correctly. Comic Com was a it was supposed to be a series but it was really just only one episode um, of this guy that does paranormal investigations in a really bad Russian accent <laughs> and it was actually the video that I put like the most effort probably into any of my other videos I wrote an entire script for it we recorded it it took like five hours to actually make the whole thing um, it was this really big like production I guess I was it was really fun the video sucks <laughs> but it was fun to make and the behind the scenes footage are also pretty funny Try that again. <laughs> 3 a.m. challenges is a series where basically I would, they were, it was part of kind of like an unofficial series called unedited footage of. And so this was unedited footage of a 3 a.m. challenge, which basically, you know, they're all fake, they're all dumb. <gasps> Who would have thought? But yeah, it was just me saying like, basically I would just make something up. Oh, there's a ghost in my bucket wheel excavator or whatever. So we got to flip the switch. Here, like that. And look, it's spinning. Just like a fidget spinner. And I'd be like, no, we have to do this for the content and the views or something like that. Um, they're not very good. Failing at For Glory is a video that I made with one of my friends who played a lot of Smash Bros. And so it's just us playing Smash 4. And I was very proud of that video because it was like actual like gameplay footage. It wasn't like the Obligators videos where we would just record the television screen with my phone and you'd see like the glare from the fan. And a fun fact actually, in order to get the glare to stop, we put a pillowcase on top of the light. And so whenever it would go to a black screen, you would see the reflection of the pillowcase on top of the light. One will know. I'm gonna spam I mean, your I'm an expert at the freaking. It was really funny, but Filling Up for Glory was definitely like a more well done video. Branson Vlog was a series that I did of four episodes where it was just me on vacation in Branson. The first episode, um, I put a lot of effort into. I even had, I had a ton of B-roll and stuff. I was super proud of it. Um, it's not as good as I remember, but it's definitely pretty good. I remember going to my freshman year orientation in high school and my friend saying like, Yo, your Branson video was super cool. Americans Try is a two-part series of three people, which is just me and my brothers, trying different foods, trying to parody like BuzzFeed, basically. And one of them is clearance section items, and the other one was children's toys. And so I played this basically, I guess, men mentally handicapped person, where I would basically just say, what's that, over and over and over again. So it's supposed to be a parody of this college humor video where they were parodying different um, like BuzzFeed try videos. And there is this one person that would keep saying, like, what even is that? And so it was me just saying, what's that? It was supposed to be like parodying that, I guess. Where even is that? What's that? I don't know. They were fun to make. And It's Over is a series of four parts where it's just the same premise every time. And it's this duck called Uncle Sam Duck going into this Lego house and pooping. That's the, that's the entire video. All four of them are like that. Those were actually supposed to be four different takes, and the fourth one was supposed to be the main take, but for some reason I uploaded all of them. Water Balloon Trivia is a video that I made with the Obligator where we had to answer trivia about our respective channels, and if we got it wrong, we would have to have a water balloon thrown at us. 
and there was like a, a hat and basically my brother would pick up a, a piece of paper and it'd say where to throw the balloon. It was actually a pretty fun idea and I think we should probably do that again. Ghost Pepper Popcorn is now actually my most viewed video and is just the obligator and I struggling to eat Ghost Pepper Popcorn. The second rendition is basically the same thing except we accidentally burnt the popcorn and so there was like smoke everywhere. It was really bad. You know. And it was absolutely disgusting to eat because it was burnt popcorn, but it was also extremely spicy. Um, one of the worst experiences that I've ever had in a video. Deadlock Not For Fun <laughs> is a, a video that's kind of an outlier among the Geometry Dash videos because um, I didn't actually beat the level. Um, well, I did. It just wasn't recording and so i had to like put i think it was three or four different segments of practice mode and just put it into one video and so it kind of looks like i was cheating but i didn't i promise i didn't cheat it just wasn't recording test from captain falcon are videos where i was testing different editing softwares and so i would just make a video of my captain falcon amiibo and then put like random edits like music or zoom ins or something like that in order to kind of test it out most videos are impossible to watch, which is most, most definitely true because they're very bad. Usually they're just one take, and so there are very few edits at all. There are no like cuts or anything. My brother was an awful cameraman, and so there are so many sections where just it's just pointing at the ground or something like that, nothing's really happening, especially more frequently in the later um, how-to show episodes, that's very noticeable. I think it was episode 29, it's how to yeet yaw on a banana, and uh, my brother missed the shot where I yeet yawed on a banana, so. Yeah, they really, they really do suck. I'm back again. <laughs> this guy keeps forgetting stuff. So Miss Gaming, I'm pretty sure just refers to different like games that are played. There's a playlist that has a whole bunch of different like other videos like Failing Out for Glory and also a video where the obligator is playing games on my laptop like One Night at Flumpties and Baldi's Basics. So yeah, this just refers to other games that are played on the channel. Another one that I forgot to mention was JB and JD TV, which is a combined channel with the obligator and I, and we have, I think only like a couple videos on there. There's not really much at all. Not, there was supposed to be a lot more stuff of us both together instead of having it only on one channel or having two separate videos so we can have it on one channel. However, now we just basically use that as a backup email in order to make like new free trials on stuff if we've already used one with our main email. So that's kind of what happened to that. Okay, so the last tier we're gonna do is the fourth tier. Water review is actually one of my favorite videos where it's me reviewing two kinds of water, Fiji and Icelandic. It's supposed to be kind of a reference to the report of the week where he did the same thing with like like different kinds of Walmart water or something. And I had a gimmick in it where in the background, all you would see was just, it was like four or five different screens all playing Fortnite videos or like all EA or something like that. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be uh, reviewing some water kind of like what Report of the Week did. It was just really stupid. But I think, I think I had a fun time making that video. Happy Birthday Joseph is a video where I play a bunch of my different characters telling Joseph happy birthday. I think that was a really cool thing to do to have all my characters in one video. Food reviews, there are two of them. So two of, of also like the unedited footage of series. One of them is a reference to the report of the week. That's the first one where it's just me in a suit reviewing some like burger from McDonald's or something like that. And also drinking some apple juice that I said to the camera was five hour energy and saying how it tasted like piss because that's what the report of the week said. Excuse me. Uh, that legitimately tastes like piss. And the second one was Joey's World Tour, where I wore like 20 shirts, I think, and a jacket over it and a beanie. And I was just eating as most like disgusting as I possibly could, chewing as loud as I could, being as close to the camera, um, eating some like chicken or something like that. <laughs> Community guideline strike was um, real. I got a community guideline strike for child endangerment in um, the Spoonfell Challenge 2. I don't know why, but for about a month, the video was taken down and I had to make updates talking about it. And how they took down my video of child endangerment. Eventually they did put it back up after about a month, like I said, but I thought that was really funny. <laughs> ASMR is also part of the unedited footage of series where I played this character called Fascist Vegan. <laughs> where I would like 
do ASMR. I would have a little object in my hand or something like that and be messing with it. And I would also talk about being vegan and a fascist. I don't know why I did that, but remastered videos, there are a few of them. One of them that I can think of off the top of my head is the first one that I ever made, which was like day in high school or something like that. So in my Spanish class, my teacher showed this random video called the day in high school and asked someone to remake it. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. So that's exactly what I did. And then she never showed it to the class like she promised to, which is kind of weird. And then also like other ones are like just old videos that I had, like, power goes off mysteriously and I did like a remastered of that one. <laughs> what? I don't think it's auto save, right? No. Wait, did it turn it off? Toy reviews is another unedited footage of series where it's basically hinting at how toy review channels, like the parents are abusive towards their kids, trying to make them do it so they can get money. So there are sh several shots where I'm filming my brother or Joseph reviewing a toy and then hitting him. <laughs> it's really dark, but it's kind of, I don't know, it was really weird. Camping in a Canyon was a vlog that I did um, at Red Rock State Park with Joseph and a few other people that we are with, and it's just me vlogging myself at the park. Um, it was actually a pretty fun video. It's probably one of my favorites, actually. The How To Show ads. So some of the later episodes of The How To Show had actual ads in them. One of them being uh, Stretchies, very infamous one, where there was just this toy that would that would stretch, and that's what I was advertising. And Joseph came up with a catchy, um, what do you call it, like a slogan, I guess? Look at this, Stretchy! So I can even go in the room. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's Joseph. He's going out, man. No! No! Stretchy! 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 It's for everyone! Yeah, that's not that far. Uh, I'm trying to remember other ones. I think there was the one where it was like gloves that would make you shoot a basketball better. And I remember there was one, I think, for Comic Comrade. Random Videos by Josh was the previous name to People's Republic of Somali Network. So if you look at some of the older interview, let's say, subscribe to Random Videos by Josh, because that's what my channel was called at the time. Make sure to subscribe to, to, to Random Videos by Josh and, and subscribe to Casey Neistat. So that is going to be it for part one of the iceberg. Stay tuned for part two, where we get into a lot of the more deeper stuff. We'll get into some things that you cannot literally or figuratively kind of find at the surface and that you have to kind of really dig for. And I'll also talk about theories and um, lost media, I guess, in a way. So it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. Bye. Ew.